Good afternoon, everyone. Update on the Kambalni eruption in Kamchatka increasing in intensity. Volcanic ash plume extending hundreds of miles now, 30,000 plus feet in the air. New eruptions underwater in the Dragon's Triangle south of Tokyo. One day it's an underwater plume, the next day it's in a full eruption. A look at sea surface temperatures looking really cold in the Indian Ocean. Bird flu epidemic killing tens of millions of birds across Asia. Food prices increasing as well as ice volcanoes on the Great Lakes. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. And I do want to thank all of my supporters on Patreon. This video is for you. And this video is possible because of your support. Thank you so much. An update on the Kambalni volcano eruption far right of the slide in eastern Kamchatka Peninsula at the very southern tip. 25th, the ash plume looked like this. Fast forward, jumping into the 26th, and now it's in this intense. It's definitely increasing. The eruption continues. The ash plume is extending over 200 miles and also rising 30,000 plus feet into the air. Satellite image for you here, all that gray ash covered snow wider out here for you. False color imagery showing you the densest of the plume compared to the night of March 25th. Volcano Discovery has a great rundown on this. Might want to jump over to the site and check that out. These Terra Modi satellite images are amazing. Also, some of the rangers that are up there taking some new images. And across the newswire as well, when I was making my last video, the Japan Meteorological Association, JMA, put out an eruption warning for the Bayonese rocks. It's located in the Dragon's Triangle. A little bit of trivia for you here. Out in Asia, there's also a Bermuda Triangle where ships disappear. There's magnetic anomalies. The exact same stuff that happens in Bermuda Triangle in the Caribbean happens in the Dragon's Triangle. Now, the Bayonese rocks also called the Myojin Sho, And this is on the Izu Gasawara Arc. Here on the map, pretty much generally center right there. These are all underwater ridge volcanoes. Underwater topography map here. That bay directly to the north is where Tokyo sits. This is back on the 23rd and 24th. These images, you can see the bubbling coming up underwater. Suddenly, it just erupts, full eruption coming above water, ash plumes. Boats taking some images of this. A full rundown here on Bayonese Rock. This is the March eruption swarm in the last five days. Not catching too much international attention. But speaking of that, let's jump right over to the sea surface temperature anomalies. March 30th, you can see the Indian Ocean right around Australia, incredibly cool as well as the southern oceans to the east of South America, northern Pacific areas around Alaska, Canada, and also the East Pacific up around Japan, Taiwan. Now, staying in Asia, the bird flu outbreak has become an outright uncontrollable epidemic. This is the same strain that keeps morphing. Now coming to the point where anywhere you see on a red dot, they are killing tens of millions of birds to try to put this in check. Anywhere in yellow, they're actually considering slaughtering, migrating birds so they don't transmit. The bird flu through Asia. Egg prices doubling and tripling. Chicken doubling in price. That's a huge jump in daily food prices. Speaking of jumping, let's go right over to Lake Erie. And Lake Ontario shorelines now have ice volcanoes. You might have thought they were little one or two foot tall things, but here's some humans so you can get a gauge of how tall these things really are. Ice builds up along the shoreline and then as wind pushes along the lake surface, it bunches up the water and just like an eruption, it hits that ice and has nowhere to go except straight up. It's like a blowhole, but made of ice. A couple images across Twitter. A bunch of the weather stations are picking up and is an anomalous event. They had this occur last year as well. They do look like volcanoes. And over at the Weather Channel, they have a video from last year's Lake Erie 
ice volcanoes, but then also for this year, they kind of combine those two together. But this is occurring Lake Ontario, Lake Erie as well. And it is borderline on the rare. And thanks for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. And with the grand solar minimum effects intensifying, more volcanoes and more earthquakes are expected. You're going to have to be able to be more reliant on yourself. And that would start with growing your own food and purifying your own water. Food for Liberty has an heirloom vegetable seed kit. You can take a look at the site and see if they have something that will match your needs. They do have other heirloom vegetable seed kits because everybody's in different stages of getting prepared.